All right, so congruent triangles are triangles that have congruent corresponding sides and congruent corresponding angles. So what does all that mean? First of all, when we talk about congruent sides or congruent angles, that means that they have the same measurement. So for example, on this side is um, has a length of seven units, um, and then this side that corresponds to it also has a length of seven units. So they're congruent. We can't exactly say that these sides are equal. That would mean that it that they're the same side. Well, they're two different things. You know, this side is over here and this side is over here. So they're not equal per se, but they're congruent. They have the same measure. So then congruent um, angles would be angles with the same measurement. So this angle is 22 degrees and this angle is 22 degrees. So these two angles, though they're different, angles, uh, they are congruent. They have the same measurement. So congruent triangles have congruent corresponding sides and congruent corresponding angles. So let's see if these two are congruent triangles. Um, so we've got 22 degrees, 22 degrees, 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 98 degrees, 98 degrees. Um, all right, so we're doing, doing well so far. Um, we've got uh, angle measurements that line up with each other, that they're, they're congruent. Um, are the sides between them congruent? So um, the side between uh, the 98 degree angle and the 22 degree angle is uh, has a length of 7. Well, over here we've got between 98 and 22 um, degrees, the length is 7. So the, these corresponding sides are congruent and these corresponding angles are congruent. Let's check this one. Between 22 degrees and 60 degrees, uh, the length of that side is 8. Same thing with this triangle. Between 22 and 60, the length is 8. And between 60 and 98, the length is 3. 60 and 98, the length is 3. So these two triangles, although they're pointed in different directions and located in different areas of um, this plane, they are congruent because they have congruent corresponding sides, 7, 7, 8, 8, 3, 3, and congruent corresponding angles, 98, 98, 22, 22, 60, 60. Um, these two triangles, although they have congruent corresponding angles, 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, um, they do not have congruent corresponding sides. Uh, one is not congruent with four. Uh, these are two different numbers, two different measurements. Um, same thing um, here. Um, these these sides are not congruent. One and four um, are not equal to each other. Um, same thing here. So we would say th uh, that these two triangles are actually similar triangles. They have the same um, congruent corresponding angles and the sides are proportional. Um, this whole thing is this triangle multiplied by four, um, but they're not congruent triangles. They have to be the same um, shape and the same size to be congruent.